In this video, we'll look at what happens when we put NH43PO4 plus H2O. This is ammonium phosphate plus water. First thing we need to do is figure out whether this is going to dissolve in water. Right now, it would be a solid. Put a little S after it, and then H2O water is a liquid. If we know our solubility rules, we know that ammonium compounds, they're very soluble. So this should dissolve and split apart into its ions when we put it in water. We could also look at a solubility chart. So on our solubility chart, right here is the ammonium ion, NH4+. Plus. We're looking for phosphate, which is over here. So phosphate, PO4, 3 minus, we go down, we go over, and that S on our solubility chart means soluble. So just like our solubility rules, ammonium phosphate, it's soluble in water. It'll dissolve in water. You'll also note that most ammonium compounds are soluble. So that's the general rule for solubility of ammonia compounds. Now we can split the ammonium phosphate part into its ions. So NH4 here, that's the ammonium ion, NH4 plus. That's a good one to memorize. And it's going to be soluble in water, so we write AQ. That means aqueous. It's dissolved in this water here. We also have our phosphate. But before we do that, we have to remember the subscript here. This 3 means we have 3 ammonium ions. So we really need to put a 3 in front of our ammonium ion here. So we'll add that to our phosphate. We only have one of those, PO4, that was 3 minus, another good one to memorize, and that's aqueous as well. So this is our equation for NH43PO4 plus H2O. Note that some teachers like to have the water written above the arrow. Check with your teacher. Either way, this is the equation for ammonium phosphate plus H2O. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.